In this video, I'm going to go over geometric sequences. Now, a geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers in which there is a common ratio that's not equal to zero or equal to one. This is different than an arithmetic sequence because in an arithmetic sequence, there is a common difference. In a geometric, there is a common ratio. Let's look at the formula for a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence, the formula would be a sub n, so some term n is equal to the first term, a sub 1, times the common ratio r to the n minus 1. So that would be to the previous term number. Let's look at this as, as an example. If I give you a sequence 1, 6, 36, and 216. We know that to get from 1 to 6, we're multiplying by 6. So let's see if that's a pattern. Let's see if that 6 is the same ratio. To get from 6 to 36, again, we are also multiplying by 6. To get from 36 to 16, again, we are multiplying by 6. So our common ratio r is 6. Let's say that we wanted to find the next term. If we were to simply multiply 216 by 6, we would get 1,296. This is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th term. Let's try to find this number using the formula. So we're looking for that a sub n. So a sub n is what we're trying to find. That's equal to the first term. So a sub 1, which our first term was 1. 1 times our common ratio r was 6. So 1 times 6 to the n. So n is the term number, and we're looking for a sub 5. So we're going to do 6 to the 5 minus 1. So this is going to be 1 times 6 to the 4th, which is just 6 to the 4th. And when you type that on your calculator, 6 to the 4th will give you 1,296. Let's look at another example. 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16, and I ask you to find the 20th term. So that's what we're looking for. First, we need to figure out what the common ratio is. To go from 2 to negative 4, we're multiplying by a negative 2. To go from negative 4 to 8, we're multiplying again by a negative 2, because negative 4 times negative 2 is a positive 8. To get from 8 to negative 16, we're doubling that, but it's going from positive to negative, so this is going to, again, be multiplied by a negative 2. We want to find the 20th term, so a sub 20 is what we're looking for. That's going to be equal to a sub 1, so our first term, which is the 2. So a sub 20 equals 2 times, now we're going to use our common ratio. Our common ratio r is the negative 2. So 2 times negative 2, and we're looking for the 20th term, so our n is 20, so it's going to be to the 20 minus 1. This is really saying 2 times negative 2 to the 19th. So that would be 2 times negative 2 to the 19th is negative 524,288. So 2 times that number will give us that our 20th term
is negative 1,048,500 76. We could have guessed that it was negative in the beginning because every even term is negative. This is the first term, which is positive. Second is even. Third is odd. Fourth is negative. So the even numbers are negative and the odd numbers were positive in this instance. So this is just a quick introduction to geometric sequences and how to write a formula for a geometric sequence.